Alrighty guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So if you don't know, back in 2018, the Atlanta Hawks actually drafted Luka Doncic. And they traded him to the Dallas Mavericks for Trey Young. That, like, looking back at it now, I think we all know that Luka Doncic might have been the better player. So today we will be seeing what would happen if the Atlanta Hawks never traded Luka Doncic for Trey Young. So we got Luka Doncic, we got rookie Luka Doncic here, 19 years old, and the Atlanta Hawks. Like the like the trade never happened. If you take a look at the Dallas Mavericks here, we got rookie Trey Young on the Dallas Mavericks. So let's just see how this pays out here. So if you look at the team right now, we got John Collins on the team. Um, after his rookie year, he played pretty decent. We got Alex Lynn. We got um, we got young Torian Prince, Luka Doncic. You got Dwayne Dedman, got Kent Bazemore, we got, I, I got one. So it looks like the creator of this, um, of this roster actually named Vince Carter, I got one more in me. If you don't know what that means, look it up online, trust me, it's really funny, because he actually named them that, it's kind of funny, I'm going to leave it just because. They got Justin Anderson, they got Kevin Herter, and yeah, the rest of the team is probably just like 60 overall, they shouldn't matter too much, but we only got rookie Kevin Herter here. So if you look at the rotation right now, got Luka Doncic, Kent Bazemore, Torian Prince, John Collins, Alex Lynn, Dwayne Dedman, Vince Carter, Justin Anderson. And Kevin Herter. So, um, once again, like this team is really not that good at all. Simulate season number one. I want to see what rookie Luka Doncic can do with John Collins and the rest of the team. I'm gonna simulate number year number one, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I'm not gonna stop at the trade deadline. This season, Russell Westbrook is your MVP, averaging 25 point triple double, shot 29 percent from three though. We got rookie of the year going to Luka Doncic, 18 and a half, seven rebounds, and nine assists. Six men going to Lou Williams. Defense the player on set of Kumba, most improved D'Angelo Russell. Coach of the year is going to Steve Kerr. They went 70 and 12. I mean, uh, obviously, I think that, um, that was like the super team with DeMarcus Cousins, Kevin Durant, Clay, and Steph. All be a first team, all be a second team, all be a third team. I didn't expect anybody. Can we get like a Luka on all NBA? I mean, all rookie first team. Yes, we do get Luka. And let's see how much Trey Young averaged. He, he averaged 19, so I mean, it didn't really matter too much. We'll see who's better in the future. So, this year we did not make the playoffs. At least, I don't think so, yeah, this year we actually didn't make the playoffs, so like I said, yeah, it's the super team, basically. Steph, Clay, Katie, Draymond, DeMarcus Cousins, yeah, they, they were pretty stacked, not gonna lie, but if you take a look at the player sets here, we got 20 from John Collins, we got 18 and a half from Luka Doncic, we got 13 from Tony on Prince, we got 10 from Dwayne Dedman, 10 from Kent Bazemore, we got 10 from I Got One Poor In Me, I mean uh, Vince Carter, we got 8 from Alex Lynn, we got 6 from Kevin Hurd's rookie year, so li little is, um, the, the Hulk's know that he turns into a very good player in the future, a very good three-point shooter. Let me see how, what was his three-point percentage? 42%, so that's even a sign right there. So, we got six from Justin Anderson and one and a half from Damien. So yeah, so, um, yeah, so, um, we did not make the playoffs, like I said. Let's just see who goes on to win the championship, though. I'm actually interested in seeing. So, we got Oklahoma City versus the 76ers, so the Warriors actually lost by Oklahoma City. Philly versus Oklahoma City. The 76ers have Ben, J.J. Reddick, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, so I think you know, this year isn't the Kawhi shot, never mind. So we we uh, the Oklahoma City do want to win the championship. How's MVP going to Paul George? So Vince Carter does retire, at least that's realistic here. We got Udonis Haslam, which he actually doesn't retire yet, so I'm gonna override that. George Hill also doesn't retire. I'm pretty sure Jamal Crawford and all these other guys retire though. That's kinda sad to see. The only way retiring, so all these guys retiring, kinda sad to see. But heading into the draft ladder here. I, uh, this is one player I want to add. I don't know if we have like a lottery pick. We probably don't. We actually do. We're projected to pick eight in the draft. So I mean, if we can get like a very good player in this draft, so I'm pretty sure this is a Zion like Darius Garland draft. Um, I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we do end up getting the ninth pick in the draft, so I think we moved down a little bit, but that's fine though, so we get the ninth pick in the draft, let me see what draft class this is, he has a Zion Williamson draft, so Zion, John Moran, who was predicted to fall to us though, I mean, let's just see for a second, so, um, Tyler Hero, we can actually maybe get Tyler Hero on this draft, or like, RJ Bear, we got like, Peter Washington, Bruno Fernando, Hachimura right here, Sikio Demboya, also got Jordan Poole, I'm actually interested to see what happens here in this draft, who falls to us, and what's gonna happen, so, let's 
see you guys inside the draft here. So the number one overall pick, the New York Knicks do select Zion Williamson. So we went number one in real life as well. The Heat get number two, they get John Morant. Number three, the Mavericks select Eric Pascal. Wow, that's a horrible pick. Not gonna lie. And they could have drafted Garland too. So they kind of they kinda, they messed up terribly. So um yeah, so the uh, Garland goes to the Jazz, Memphis, Jackson, the Hayes. Phoenix, Rui Ashimura, Sacramento, Brandon Clark, Cleveland, Kobe White, which means Tyler Hero is on the board here. Also got Gafford, PJ Washington, but I know these guys don't turn out to be as good as everybody said they were, so I'm not going to select any of these guys. RJ Barrett could be an option. It just depends what we need the most. So point guard position is fine. We'll have to figure out a backup shooting guard. I mean, we could get, you know, Vince Carter isn't going to start anymore, so we could get a shooting guard, but I, I have faith in Kevin Herter. Tony on Prince, honestly, I would say we need, like, a forward or something, or a center. So a forward or a center, like, we got Gafford, but I really don't want to select him here. I might end up selecting Tyler Hero here, have Kevin Herter come off the bench, even though. So I'm kind of eating my words here, so what I'm going to say is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select Tyler Hero here. I feel like that's a very good selection. We also got, like, another second-round pick here, so Tyler Cook, Max I might actually go with Max Schroes here. So Max Schroes welcome to the team as the forward that we need it. Now, if you could get a center here, that would be great. We do got, like, Tyler Cook. Cameron Johnson actually falls us. I mean, we got, like, Moses Brown here as well. I'm just going to go and take Moses Brown here. I think we take the center. That's going to conclude my draft. So I'm going to accept Tyler here of 76. I'm going to accept Max Schroes. I'm going to accept Moses Brown. I really, really like this draft. Tori and Prince's team option here, and then going with the qualifying offers. Got no qualifying offers. That leaves us in the free agency here. So, in free agency, Kawhi Leonard's a free agent, and in real life, he actually does not resound with the Raptors. He actually goes to the Clippers, but the Clippers are not. I mean, they are, but he's not He's not going to go with them. So, probably going to return to Toronto. So, our team right now, we got Luka Doncic. We got Tyler Hero, Kevin Herter, Tori and Prince, Kent Bazemore, John Collins, Alex Leonard, and Moses Brown. So, we definitely need to fill out our bench up a little bit more starting off with the backup power forward. And if you look on the board here, like, we got Draymond Green, which I'm that I'll be too unrealistic to bring him in. I'm not going to do anyway. He's going to resound with the Warriors. Tobias Harris, I mean, he's not really going to be, he's probably going to be mad if we bench him, so I'm not going to do that. Larry Dance would be actually a pretty good option here. We got Thaddeus Young, a little too old for this young team. Marcus Morris, I don't like, it's a young developing center. We got Jabari Parker here, which he actually did not turn to the player that I thought he was, so I'm not going to sign him. Well, Anthony has a nice little veteran guy for us. Honestly, I'm leaning towards signing like Larry Nance. He's 26 years old, 80 overall. Honestly, give me Larry Nance here. $18 million, three years. Not going to waste too much money. So I'm going to bring in Larry Nance. And then Deadmon is still here. I'll be wanting to bring it back. Just nerves, and I won't be too concerned about it, but it's still here. So Larry Nance, welcome to the team as our new backup power forward here. Then um, I don't know if you can rely on Moses Brown or Alex Lynn. I was, I'm not really liking the center position here. I'm not going to move John Collins there. So honestly, next thing we need is probably like a backup point guard for us because. Hopefully, Herder can develop, and then, yes, yeah, the main thing next. So, got Dennis Smith. We got Chris Dunn. We got Manuel Moutier here. That's for $12 million. We got, like, Alfred Payton. Once again, I want it like a young, developing star, like I said before. I mean, backup point guard. So, we got, so we got Kendrick Nunn down here, which I don't know. Um, so, I might just go ahead and take, like, Emmanuel Moutier. Hopefully, we can develop him into a player. Or Dennis Smith, honestly. He's 22, but he is asked for 20, $27 million. It's kind of insane. Honestly, I'm not going to give him that. So, give me like a just a um I'm just going to go ahead and sign Emmanuel Moutier here. That's the best option I could really find here. So, honestly, I don't want to do too much this offseason. And then, like, we don't have, we don't really have to sign a backup center. But we got, like, Willie Collinstein here, which he's getting four offers. No point in going after him. I just want to sign, like, a decent one. I don't want to sign somebody too good. Once again, I don't want to be good right away. I want to assemble the best team around Luka Doncic. Just, like, somebody that can, like, come in and be just decent. So, we got, like, um, Greg Moore, honestly. Like, I'll be – just give me, like, Rashawn Holmes or Drew Eubanks. I'll, I'll – we got Z Zaza Pachulia. Honestly, just give me Zaza Pachulia here. Nice, um... Nice veteran guy, and that'll be my offseason year. Let's go ahead and skip the player progression. So, hopefully, this looks good. Collins is up. Luka Doncic is up. Larry Nance is up. Torian Prince is up. Alex Lynn. Manuel Moody is up. Kevin Herter is up four, which that's a great sign. Zaza Pachulia is down three, though, with um, Derek Walton Jr. going up two. So, I'll see you guys at the beginning of the season to go through our rotation. Hopefully, we can make the playoffs this year, man. Rotation is Luka Doncic, Tyler Hero, Torian Prince, John Collins, Alex Lynn, Larry Nance, Manuel Moody. 
Kanye, Kent Bazemore, Kevin Herter, then Zaz and Pachulia. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and play Moses Brown, these minutes over Zaz and Pachulia. Once again, uh, we actually have another lottery picks this year. I'm okay with tanking because I there's someone else I want to get as well. Tyler Hero, Luka Doncic, very good backcourt. But we need to assemble like our small forward position and center position. That's still questionable. And yeah, so I wouldn't mind taking again, but I, I would at least like to make the plan to make it at least somewhat interesting. We'll see what happens. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Yoki is your MVP, Rookie of the Year, Zion Williamson, so very good in New York, Sixth Man of the Year, is it our Emmanuel Moutier, so he averaged 14 points per game with 7 assists off the bench, which is great. Best player, Ben Simmons, most improved, Marquise Chris, that's a name I haven't heard in a while, I don't know if he's in the NBA right now. Coach of the Year, Steve Kerr once again, so, yeah, so this year was pretty successful, I mean, not really, we didn't really make the playoffs, I don't know why it's successful, we didn't make the play-in, so, gotta play Indiana, they got Dennis Smith, um, yeah, we could have, we could have and bleed in. Virtual Depot, Boyan Bogdanovich, DeMontis Abonis, Mal Turner. So, yeah, pretty pretty big lineup. They also got Bull Bull down here. Yeah, so it's kind of scary. But against the, I mean, our player stats here, we got 21 from Luka, 6 assists and 9 rebounds, 19 from John Collins, 14 from Torian Prince, 14 from Manuel Moutier, and 11 from Tyler Euro. So, and 8 from Kent, Kent and 8 from Kent Bazemore, 8 from Alex Land, and 7 from and 7, 7 from Larry Dan. So, against the Indiana Pacers, we are going to go ahead and lose. So, as expected, let's just see who wins the NBA championship, though. I expect the Warriors to win it, um, but you never know what could happen. But we got the Raptors and the Lakers in the finals. Wow, interesting. So, Lakers have Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, LeBron James. They, you know, they don't have Anthony Davis, but they still made the finals. And they are going to push the Raptors to seven, but the Raptors do win the championship. Lonzo P going to Kawhi Leonard. So, we're projected the eighth overall pick in the NBA draft. Let's see what pick we get. We do end up falling in nine once again. So, if we get back to back, Back nine overall pick. We're actually pretty decent here. So if you look at the mock drafts here. It's the Lamella Ball and Anthony Edwards draft, but we are projected to go ahead and draw Precious Achua. It's interesting because we do need a big man, but um, yeah, I was looking like, but I like um, Jeez Wise, but that was gonna fought us. So, so the Grizzlies have a chance to land Lamella Ball. Like, um, the Indiana Pacers can select Anthony Edwards, but or they can select Tyrese Hallenburn, which is kind of interesting. You know what? Let's hop into the draft here and see what's gonna happen. So pick number one, the uh, Memphis Grizzlies do take Anthony Edwards, means the Pacers should take Tyre. They actually take Lamella Ball, so it means the Knicks are going to take on Yanke Kungu. So that's one center off the board. The Wizards are going to take James Wiseman. The Suns are going to take Caron Lewis. Um, the Blazers are going to take Sadiq Bay. Orlando's going to take Tyree Tomburn. So he almost falls thus. That would have been crazy. So Minnesota's going to take Cole Anthony. And let's see what's on the board for us. So I don't want to take this guy. I don't know if he's, if he's even a real player. We got Obi Top and Isaiah. Do a pressure to Chua. Um, my actually is going to go ahead and take pressure to Chua because we do need a big man, and I don't know if I want to take this guy. Or I, have, I have no idea who that is, and I'm more familiar with um, pressure to Chua. So give me a Chua here with a pick with um. 9, 10, Obi Top, and, uh, and then Tyler, and then Ajay Hampton. So, also got, like, another first-round pick, which Isaiah Stewart's on the board, as well as Patrick Williams. So, what else do we need aside of the center position? Um, I would say, like, another forward, maybe. So, any more forwards available? So, we got, like, Patrick Williams, which he would actually be pretty nice. But I'm going to go ahead and take Isaiah Stewart here. So, we got our two centers locked up. We also got one more pick. Got, like, Poku, we got Yudoka as a bookie. I wonder if you want to take a forward here, take a forward, like a young guy on a forward. So, so, I mean, I'll just go ahead and take Poku here, I guess. Then, yeah, that'll be my draft. I'll just go ahead and accept all of these guys, the three of those guys, and team play options. John Collins, I'll accept. Luka Doncic, I'll accept. Kevin Herter, Moses Brown, and Max Drew. So, I'm accepting all those guys. Some qualifying offers. We got nobody. So, heading into free agency here, um, got the bird rights to nobody. So, we should have a full rotation or a full team right away. We got 12 players. King on like development. Hopefully Luca can develop. Hopefully Tyler Hero and Kevin Hur can develop in that two spot. Hopefully, I mean, yeah, we I feel like we need to re-sign a forward, don't we? Yeah. Torian Prince, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, want to bring him back, definitely, Torian Prince will come back to the team, I also want to sign another forward, too, we got, like, Kent Bazemore, Tory Craig, Wesley Matthews, I just want somebody that could at least score, maybe, I mean, we got, like, Harrison Barnes here, which, also, we got, like, Terrence Ross, Joe Harris, and also, give me Joe Harris as well, very nice shooter, so we got our two forwards locked up, which is really nice to hear, so give me these two forwards, Torian Prince and Joe Harris, welcome to the team, and that, honestly, might be our last move, we got 14 players in our team, and, yeah, I'll see you guys in player progression. Hopefully this will look good. Luka Doncic is up, John Collins is up, Tyler Hero is up. It's all torn out Prince, Emmanuel Moutier, Joe Harris, and Kevin Herter is also up.
you know, we got Luka Doncic, Tyler Hero, Torian Prince, John Collins, Isaiah Stewart, Larry Nance, Emmanuel Moutier, Joe Harris, Kevin Herter, and then Achua um, as our 10th man. So it'll be back and forth of who earns the starting role, Isaiah Stewart or um, Prince Achua. They're both 75 overall, so I mean, it shouldn't really matter too much. But don't be surprised if I stop the trade the line and try and upgrade the small four position or something. So this year we were actually a playing team as the second seed. I mean, a playoff team as second seed heading into our player stats. Got 24 from Luka Doncic, 19 from John Collins, 13 from Moody, 12 from Torian Prince, 11 and a half from Tyler Hero after um, averaging 11.2. So we got 10 from Machua. He ended up taking over as the starting center for the um for the season. We got nine from Kevin Herter, eight from Dave Stewart, seven from Larry Nance, six from Joe Harris, and points out from Moses Brown. So I guess it's obvious that it looks like we might be readier than I thought. So we got Kobe White, um, yeah, so we should be able to beat this Cavaliers team, honestly, but there's no reason why we should lose, so we should be able to, okay, well, we lose by six, there's, there's no way they go past the second round, right, yeah, yeah, no way, alright, so, I guess, yes, yeah, so we lose in the first round, at least we made the playoffs, so that's good, we're not really experienced, so Utah Jazz, new in the championship, my MVP is Julius Randle, so, looking to play our tournaments, we've got Carmelo, Rudy Gay, Rajon, Rondo, Danny Green, and Sean Livingston, so, Heading into the draft lottery here. I don't think we have a lottery pick once again. No, probably because we were actually good. So um, we do have pick, or do we even have a pick in the draft? We have two second round picks in the draft, which um, I'm really not too concerned about. But I mean, we could get somebody that could fall at us down low. But let's see what happens. So hop into the NBA draft here and see what could happen. So our second round pick, we got one of them. We're just going to go ahead. We got Luca Garza. So I'm going to go ahead and take Delano Banton here. Re really decent player in the future. And then we got like Joe with Kim. Give me Julian Campaign, honestly. Once again, another really good player in the future. So I'm going to accept the both of these guys, 72. And 70 overall. So, team player options Luka Doncic, Tyler Hero, Kevin Herter, and Poku. I'll accept. All thing offers Moses Brown and Max Schuess. I'll love to bring Moses Brown and Max Schuess back. I'm not going to really sweat over him. So, John Collins is a free agent, which I'm 100% going to bring him back to the team. So, John Collins, welcome back to the team. And I'm going to try not to renounce um, Emmanuel Moutier. If I can, I mean, can, can we, do we have money to bring him back? We have some money this offseason, actually. So, maybe we go big on like a center. Steven Downs, I'll be poor. It's not really what I'm looking for. That we might actually trade for one. So, um, I guess it's safe to say that I guess we're not in rebuild mode anymore. We're looking to contend. So that's going to be my John Collins versus the Jets for now. It's made Moody. It's kind of sad, but that's fine. So I think we're going to make a big trade here. With all the young assets that we have, good, we can put this together and hopefully make a trade here. I'm going to try to trade for a better forward or a better center. Let's see what's available. So I'm gonna be trying. I'm gonna try to get Miles on the team. I would love to get Kim Capella. We got him in real life. So I'm gonna try and switch it up a little bit. So 25 million. I don't know if we can reach this though. So it might kind of be impossible. I mean, we got this big salary in Derek all Wong Jr. I don't know how, but we can. Or can we take on his money? Let me see. Can we take it on? Um, I don't think we could. We can't take on the salary, but I'm okay if throwing Derek, uh, Derek Walton Jr. in there. I don't know who gave him that contract, but probably not going to be a big part of the deal. It's going to be like a trade piece to get the deal to go through. So let's say we also include um, um, Poku and then Julian campaign in the deal, and then we just give up like this 128 first round pick and then a couple seconds. Don't know if this gets it to go through. They don't agree. You might have to give up two first in the deal, which I guess I'll do. Say 1029 first round pick. That, that pick swap actually has some value to it so they don't agree I mean let's say we had the pick swap instead and they agree we get Miles Turner on the team even though that was a three star value pick swap it could be very very valuable but we get Miles Turner on the team as our new starting center like Stewart or two in there but I want them on the team we can even move them to the four or something like that so we are our new starting center which means we are looking to maybe contend here hopefully Luca here will keep developing Torian Prince could hopefully be our starting small forward and then yeah the only thing I would change is Torian Prince but for now I'm just gonna roll it and see how it does so need a point guard i mean once again i will i will still love to bring back what's the name but sadly it renounced him which is kind of dumb or we can we still could bring him back apparently so i mean i'm just gonna go ahead and sign him i don't know how we can bring him back i'm just gonna go ahead and get him back on the team so manuel moody welcome back to the team i'm gonna give you a deal and then max juice and moses brown come back in their qualifying offer so after that i wouldn't say we need much i'll sign like an extra guard or forward just in case we got like deon waiters give me deon waiters 
there's like a minimum deal i mean i'll be willing to give him like a one year minimum that we also can bring one more guy in i would love to so i'll also go ahead and bring in tori craig to a minimum so i'll be in my off season i'm just gonna wait for um Torian prince i mean uh max shoes and moses brown to come back and then after that let's get the player progression hopefully it looks good once again Luca is up, John Collins is up, Mal Turner is up, Tyler Hero is up, Torian Prince. You know, here's Kevin Huter, Isaiah Stewart, and Preston Shua are all up. So, I would, I feel like this is a very good offseason year. We get our established center. We get our veteran center. He's still 25, but I really like the addition, and hopefully we can be good this year. Like, this is, this is load in the draft class and go get a rotation. Doncic, Tyler Hero, Torian Prince, John Collins, Miles Turner, Larry Nance, Emmanuel Moutier, Joe Harris, Preston Shua, and Isaiah Stewart. Um, pretty good rotation, but Kevin Huter's out there, Jason, that's the problem. Um, we'll switch between Isaiah Stewart and Kevin Huter throughout the season to see who deserves the 10th spot more. And I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully, you know, we can make a strong playoff run and win a championship. That would be great. Deadline, Luka Doncic is willing to resign with us and say, say less, man. We're resigning him immediately. I'm going to give him as much money as we possibly can. Luka, welcome back to the team on a new contract extension. We also got, like, Larry Nance down here, which I'll be, which I wouldn't mind giving, giving him, like, another another extension. So, two-year deal for Larry Nance, $15 million. Welcome back to the team. And, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season here. Right now, we're pretty good, 40 and 20. Let's continue it with Luka's new extension. I, I yeah, I'll see what happens. Season, Luka Doncic is your MVP. So, he finally wins MVP. 24 points, 7 rebounds, 12 assists. One super game shot, 43% from three, 51 from field goal, and 80. So he made, made the 50, 40, 90 club. Or, yeah, no, no, he didn't make it because he shot 80% from free throws. Never mind. Rookie of the year, K cutting out six men, Darius Garland, defensive player, Anthony Davis, and a Pelican jersey now, which in real life here, I mean, he'll be on the Lakers now, if it was, you know, but most improved, RJ Barrett, coach of the year, Nate, Mc, Nate McMillan. So this year, we were obviously good. I'll be at first when we got Luka Doncic. If we can get, like, a John Collins, that would be great. We don't get them, but we were the second seed once again. Got to play the Bucks in the plan. So Bledsoe, Brogdon, Chris Milton, Giannis, and Cody Zeller as like a decent role player. He got 24 from Luka Doncic, 18 from John Collins. So around 15 points from Tyler Hero if you round up. 13 from Manuel quickly. There's an and a half and eight assists. So I mean, I guess Manuel Moutier actually, at least in 2K, is really, really good. We got 11 from Miles Turner, 10 from Torian Prince, 10 from Achua off the bench. We got 7 from Isaiah Stewart, 6 from Larry Nance, 6 from Joe Harris. And, yeah, so he, um, I guess Isaiah Stewart actually won the rotational spot over um, over um, Kevin Hewitt. Key Bucks, Eric Bledsoe, um, Chris Middleton, Giannis, Cody Zeller, Robert Covington, Lou Will, James J James Johnson, and Tyler Johnson. Wow. It, it's James Johnson still in the NBA because he, he just can name and throw. And then Tyler Johnson, is he a free agent? I don't know. But let's see what happens against the Milwaukee. Best. Hopefully you can make it past the first round, and we're going to beat them in five. So make it past the first round, and we're going to play the Celtics. So, yeah, the, oh, the, the overpowered Celtics, they might actually beat us here. Three Irving, Jalen Brown, um, Gordon Hayward when he was actually a reliable role player. I mean, a really good player. Jason Tatum, Robert Williams, Rozier, Marcus Smart, J.J. Reddick, Gary Payton the second. Gret. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of scary. I wouldn't be surprised if we lose here. Honestly, get swept, but we got the 3-2 lead. Can we pull it off? We're going to Game 7, of course we are. We're going to a Game 7 here. I don't know if it's in Atlanta or, um, yeah, but I think we shrink our rotation here. I mean, no, we're not going to do that. So, we're pushing the Boston Celtics to 7, which is insane. It's in Atlanta, so we have home court advantage. Let's pull it off here. So, back-to-back -back scoring game heading into halftime. But it's looking like we're going to blow them out a little bit, and it's looking like we're going to lead in the first quarter. It's looking like we are going to be the Boston Celtics in 7 games. we got 34 from Luka Doncic. Need it every single last bit. Or, no, 30, 34 from John Collins, so need every last bit of that. 24 and 14 from Luka, 23 from Isaiah Stewart, 30 from Tatum, but we're in the, we're in the third round of the playoffs to play the New York Knicks, so... Knicks have D'Angelo Russell, Will Burton, OJ Nobi, they got Zion Williamson. So they got Lane K. Kangu, Otto Porter, Kevin Knox, Mitchell Robinson. And I think that's rookie Maxi. I mean, that's yeah, it's year two Maxi, Josh Christopher. So talented team, but I don't know why, I kind of think we're better.
Oh yeah, the Knicks, yeah, I'll see what happens, I got Will Barton, um, is he still in the NBA too, man, There's so much questions I have, but, against the Knicks, we're gonna go down 2-1, we're gonna tie it up 2-2, they're gonna take the 2-2 lead, not gonna beat us in 6, so, it's impressive that we made it to the, um, the third round, I didn't even, oh, wait, I didn't see, we have the Dallas Mavericks going on to the final, going on to the finals, but they do lose, if we could have had a Doncic versus Trey Young matchup in the finals, and while we're doing this video, that would be insane. But I mean, they they are they're they're assembling an absolute super team. Trey Donovan, Jimmy Pascal's gonna be hopefully Eric Pascal can develop for them, and then yeah, they might assemble a super team here. And if they find a if they find a good starting center, they can assemble a super team. But yeah, player retirements. Um, Paul Millsap, Blue Will, Goran Dragic, and James Johnson. So in the draft lottery year, I mean, I don't expect us to have a lottery pick. If we do, we can trade it to get a better small forward, I guess. So we do not have a lottery pick in the draft once again. So, so, I guess we're officially starting the contender mode here. So, we got, like, pick 29, I believe, if that's ours. No, we got two seconds. It's not our pick. Seb, J, D, um, Davidson, I guess. And then, yeah, team play options. MT did decline his player option. And he's a must resign. Tell Teller Hero, Isaiah Stewart, Chu, and Delano Banton. Welcome back to the team. Offering off is Moses Brown and Max Schuess. They want to bring both of them back. Um, yeah, so we're in frequency now. Miles Turner, Kevin Hutter, Moses Brown, Max Schuess. So... Now there is the first player having a bag thirty million dollars for five years. Welcome back to the team and I'm not gonna announce anyone. No, I'm not. Um Kevin Herter, I would love to bring him back as well. As well as Joe Harris, man, really good role player for us last year. So Joe Harris, welcome back to the team. And then Kevin Herter is the next person. Then we after that we should be fine. We have the qualifying offers and the other guys. So Kevin Herter, I'm gonna bring back these three guys. After that we should be fine. We're looking to maybe contend this season. I'll look to trade for another small forward though for sure. Maybe at the deadline line right now I'll see what I can do but yeah I'm just gonna run it back another year is we almost made the finals and then yeah hopefully our guys can develop even better and yeah so in player progression now we got Max Schuess, Moses Brown welcome back Luca John Collins Miles Turner um Tyler Heroes up so a two of might actually be our sixth man this year and then we got Manuel Moutier Isaiah Stewart Kevin Hunter Joe Harris going down but Moses Brown and Max Schuess going up so I'll see you guys at the beginning of the season to go to the rotation. If I can't find a trade, then I'll show you, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to try and trade for Mikel Bridges here. I feel like in the future, he'll be a way better player than Torian Prince. For sure, yeah, he's, he is younger too, so let's go ahead. Let's get Mikel Bridges on the team. So, it might take a lot, but I'm going to do it. So, most of them will have to be in the deal too. Add two players in there. I don't know if they say yes to this. No, they don't. All right, let's say 29 first round picking the deal. How about this trade? And they agree. So we get Mikel Bridges on the team. They are a new starting small forward. His defense will be impactful. Way better overall than Torian Prince. And yeah, it's the big move at the deadline. We finally got it to go through. We could take on salary too. And I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Luka does go back to back for the rookie of the year, Paul Carroll, the Washington Wizards, six men, Derek Garland of the Jazz, defensive player Anthony Davis, most improved Jalen Brunson. On the Dallas Mavericks, so the Mavericks finally play Jalen Brunson, and you see what he does. So coach of the year, Nick Mellon, which we, yeah, we were one of the best teams in the league. We won 61 games, and yeah, so heading into our player stats, we got 23 and a half from Luka, 18 and a half from John Collins, 17 from Teller Hero, 13 from Patrick Shua, 12 from Mikel Bridges, 10 from Emmanuel Moutier, 10 from Miles Turner, and 7 from Isaiah Stewart, 7 from Evan Huter, and 5 from Larry Nance. So, we got Detroit in the first round. Davion Mitchell, um, they got Victor Oladipo, DeAndre Hunter, um, Jaron Jackson, Willie Constantine, Torian Prince, come on, dude. So, we obviously um, made a trade with them at the deadline. Prince actually play way better off the bench with the Pistons instead of as our starting small four, which is kind of crazy, but here we go. See what happens against the Detroit Pistons, so if I can click it. Alright, simulate like current round, and we are gonna go ahead and beat them in seven. I kind of got scared there. Now we got the Boston Celtics, but they're actually starting Rozier now, and they got Blake Griffin on the team, and, he, and he's an 85 overall, so, so he's not necessarily washed yet. Kyrie Irving, Terry Rozier, Jason Tatum, Blake Griffin. Wait, that means, that, yeah, Jalen Brown is not here, so that could give us an advantage. Let's see what happens. So against the Celtics, we are going to lose.
how do we beat them last year but lose this time, man? I'm, I'm not going to question it, but, yep, um, we're not going to make the finals. I mean, we're not going to win yet. The Ma the Mavericks do go back-to-back -back finals, but they still cannot win. Franz VP, Zion Williamson, so, um, let's see. Wait, that means, wait, I don't see Trey Young, which means Trey Young is not on the Mavericks anymore. What team is he on? I have to see. Um, yeah, Trey Young is not on the Mavericks. I have to see what team Trey Young is on. He's on the Minnesota Timberwolves. What was he doing there? Um, yeah, I guess, but they're starting as 73 overall David Roddy and he's not even a power forward but all right now I'm gonna question I'm gonna go out and the next season man this is so crazy what I did is I kind of simulated the draft and didn't really care about it and we took Kobe Bufkin which is kind of ironic here I mean like we took him in real life and we're taking him in the second round it's kind of crazy I'm gonna accept him for sure also Hunter Tyus so yeah this was the 23 draft class um yeah so the yeah so it's kind of it's a lot different as you can see the Warriors got pick number five what happened bro in the Okay, this draft is kind of weird, so I'm just going to go ahead hop in team player options. So I'm going to accept all three of these guys. Qualifying offers, Seller Hero, Max Juice, and Delano Banton, for sure. So... I'm gonna bring in so we got the bird rights to tell our hero Max Juice. I'm definitely gonna bring them back and Bridges. Oh, this is gonna get kind of expensive. Mikel Bridges is a free agent. I thought we would have the bird rights to him. What happened, bro? Um, Bridges, can we bring him back? Okay, we can bring him back. Right, I'm gonna simply bring back Mikel Bridges first because we do have the bird rights to him. I mean, we got the bird rights to tell our hero. So Mikel Bridges, I'm gonna lower it as much as possible because after this, we're probably gonna be bird right. I mean, we're probably gonna be hard capped. So let's simply bring back Mikel Bridges and then hopefully we can still bring back hero and then hero I mean yeah we're this is gonna be get expensive so maybe it was a bad idea paying for Mikhail Bridges I just wanted like a defensive small forward that could play defense and score at the same time so can we bring back teller hero as well that was my thing so teller hero um we should be able to he does have some offers though but he's not liking any of them oh that's the jazz offer and the qualifying offer so he does sound with this 97 million pretty cheap contract on so I can't believe I got away with that so we brought back our guys. It's only a matter of time for before this team can become really good because I believe in this team. Moody is still young. Kevin Hooter and Kenton Teller are still young. Okay, man. I think next year is our year. What do you guys think? It depends how player progression looks. And yeah, I uh, um, not really want to do any more things this offseason. I mean, it's free agency, so I tend to player progression. If you look at the rotation here, like our, like just look at the overalls, man. This team just looks so good on paper, but can we, but can we actually be good though? Can we win a championship? And yeah, it's just a matter of time. Like I said, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. For the number one seed, once again, we gotta play the Magic. So we got 20 from Lucas, 17 from John Collins, the 16 from Ariel, 15 from Machua, and 15 from Mikael Bridges. So Orlando, you know, it's a pretty decent team, but can we beat them though? We got Eric Pascal on the team. Can we beat them? We are going to beat the match, and we got to play the Nets. And I forgot to stop it, which means we're going to go down 3-0 to the Nets. So Ben Brown, Block, Olivelli, Justin Tillman, Jared Allen, Diarro Saric, Jared, yeah, and then Chris Duarte, then Bruce Brown. We're going to get swept, aren't we? Okay, we're going to lose in five, so it's not as bad. I'll run it back one more year, because we were doing this for a long time. So I'll run it back one more year, and if we still can't win, like, I don't know what superstars could be available that we can, like, put next to Luka. I mean, I tried. Stars, I can just round them with the best players possible. Get, get, you know, get Lucas some help in Atlanta instead of Dallas now, but on the back one more year, we can get a better small forward, man. I don't know what's going to happen. So I did actually simulate, but we did end up losing in seven. So Hold on, I actually simulated one more year just for fun, and we did make the finals, that's crazy, but what's even crazier is we gotta play Trey Young. This, this might be the matchup, this might be the greatest matchup of all time right here, but if you look at the player stats here, I decided to simulate for one more season, and this happened, I promise this is not rigged, so yeah, I mean, gotta play Trey Young, let's see what happens. Game one, um, the Minnesota Tim Rolls do take three from Donovan Mitchell, and they got, and he recruited Donovan Mitchell back, I guess, alright, so we do Tie it at 1 1. We take the 2 1 lead. We take the 3 1 lead. We're not going to win the championship. Finals MVP is going to Luka Doncic. So we beat Trey Young in the finals. That's what I wanted to do in this video. So now I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.